No, okay, now here you go. That's you just it. said it best. He's just a he vicious field field view, right? What's that? I don't know how he could have done it better. What do you I'm just saying the story is... He was in Ethiopia when he did that shit. I don't know. No, listen, you know that Jesus had to hide when he was a kid. And yes. you know where they hid his ass. And Moses, too. You know where they hid Moses? In Ethiopia? In Egypt. Egypt. In Egypt. And you know where Egypt is on the, in, on the map, right? Right around Ethiopia? No, it's in Africa. Yeah. Okay, and at that time, this is before the Muslim or Arabic migration. Yeah. This is when niggas ruled in fucking Egypt. <laughs> so if they were able to hide Moses and Jesus in these countries and he blended in, no motherfucking problem. Yeah. What does that tell you? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, with that being said, black. when they dropped that he shit, like on, I saw somebody drop that on one of these old mm -hmm. ass rabbis, and they mm -hmm. admit that some of the time original time Jews have this Y chromosome or some weird fucking gene that only these the greatest people story, have story. and they come straight black as dirt come out of fucking half. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Have you heard anything like that? Do they talk about anything like that? Or are all the characters... I, I don't know of anything you, like that. Like, have you stumbled across that? In it's not status? really about a race thing when it comes down to Jews. So anybody and that's can what be a the Jew? whole division was about back then. Anybody can be a Jew? Anybody can receive enlightenment. That's He's talking about universal true. laws of the universe being passed. You're thinking yes. of it as religion. It's yeah. like, like the universal laws of the universe that are unpassed. Sure. Yeah. These are unarguable laws of the yeah. universe that you can choose to argue with. No. So, when you looked at, did you look at Christianity? Absolutely. Did you look at, I don't think you looked at Islam. Yes, I did. Uh, okay, you did? Yeah. Now, what was, the stories, difference? what was the difference where you were like, Jesus. this is it? Uh, the literature, the style of literature. Where you're like, this is it. Where These guys are talking Islam to me. almost seemed like when I was reading it, I mean, there's parts of the Islam book where I was almost reading it. And, and it was wrong. almost like hypnotic to me because you're repeating of so many phrases over and over and over again. Just it's a brainwasher book. It's yeah. not really a brainwasher, mm -hmm. but they're, it, it, they're, they're, they're training your brain. They're showing utmost respect to for God. the words they're even saying. So every single thing is, you know, crazy. Not every other thing, but there's a lot of commentary or, or, or side notes about, you know, the respect manner of what the words are talking about and like they're like they're not saying you know Jesus Shala, we're saying that. yeah they're not saying you know thank be to God I've after verse in the Bible of, of the King James Version you know what I mean no, like it's, every oh, time they say a verse they yeah. end it with that yeah you know what I mean yeah, or not even back. not even verse even just phrase like you know what I mean so they're telling the story right. before yeah and then before it goes into this and I felt that that was like uh, you know I mean it could have many many implications you know to take your time while you're reading it but to me who someone was just trying to read through it it, it felt and study it and kind of try to learn as much as i can without really just trying to get an overall senses of it i wasn't trying to i was trying to educate myself so that i could draw a comparison between everything else that i was researching right in my own mind so doing that it led me to the judaism part and Christianity didn't appeal to you as much either? Christianity did, but the theologians there, well, they were speaking about, you know what I mean? It's like you eating an orange. Yes. I never knew he was coming on Mother. It's like you, eat, you eating an orange. <laughs> and then describing the taste to say justice. You know, right? And then justice describing the taste I mean? to me. Enlightenment, you know I mean? yeah, you're like trying to rephrase enlightenment so the next guy understands it. It's getting passed it's, down. Think, yeah, yeah, things are lost I mean? in the translation. It's like the, so now when I'm reading these Broken theologians that sit in those monks, okay, you are grasping some inspiration to them, but they're nothing compared to if you can get a hold of your... From source. From a source that's actually sitting in the monk in Israel and wrote something. That you talk to directly. No, no, technically you want to go to source and skip that fucking thing and connect to universe slash yourself, which is like the DMT trip. Connect yourself, about. okay. Connect yourself. You don't know which how. Is what? You don't know how. Right. And I've and I've went into spirituality where, you know, there's these books out there, Seth books. Okay, great. You're talking to a guy named Seth. He's part of the meta metaphysical world beyond our senses. Okay, great. I mean, I'm looking for something more than that. I'm looking, okay, there's a purpose for that. And in Kabbalah, it shows you what that purpose is and how to break it down for the simplest person. Because every person has to reach that level. That's what Jews believe. Every person has to reach the hypothetical level maybe Jesus did. 
And maybe they were pissed because he wasn't doing it for the purpose. You know what I mean? For yeah, the, right. Like, even even the devil can cite scripture for his exa own purpose. Exactly. Exa so he literally cited scripture for right. his own manipulation. And, and which you know could what? All perversion. those parables you read in the New Testament, those are all just those are all just borrowed phrases and borrowed parables from the from the Talmud, bro. Right. That was written. You know what I mean? In terms of to control the structure of no, Roman I was, I Catholic didn't and dumb Roman, it down. Listen, right. And, and, and lame control terms. the masses, though. Well, to teach, try to teach someone this. You There's can't a man teach with... someone Kabbalah. Bro. There's no. basic level. So you know the eight levels of morality. The eighth level of morality would be the ultimate uh, morality. Is like what you're saying with the Kabbalah. But most people operate from one to four. So like a mm -hmm. level one morality is listening to an authority figure, whether it be God or your father or right. God the father. Right. If you listen to your dad and, and don't take the cookies out of the cookie jar, it's mm -hmm. level one morality. Yeah. Level eight morality is stealing a loaf of bread for your starving kids, knowing you owe that man $2 and you definitely better go next week. Yeah. Apologize. May God for it. Like you're doing the short term for the long term. Yeah. You know, I bet you would in the quality, you would have went, you would have exhausted every other thing before you would have stole, stole the loaf of bread. There have been like 15 other steps the to get to the loaf would have came to you before you would have had to steal it. Fair, because mm -hmm. you would have been if doing... dealing with Kabbalah. Fair enough. So you, you would have had I mean? to get to that point. That's what it is. The, the highest and level of And whether that's, that's satisfying your hunger or satisfying your mind or realizing that it's just hunger. Whatever yeah. it is, Kabbalah is going to bring it to you. I'll show you. It's never about what you think. 